Good evening and congratulations with the documentary because this really is a journey, isn't it, that yeah, we go on? It is it's a bit of a journey. <laughs> yeah, our journey to glory, that's true. No, yeah, I mean, it's, it's emotionally quite tough at times. You know, there's the, uh, yeah, certainly, you know, the early days, you know, you see, you see the, 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 us growing up, but nothing is quite, you know, prepares you for when it all collapses. And, um, and you know, it's tough for us to sit through. You know, the five of us were interviewed and talked about our uh, experiences at that time in a very honest fashion and and uh, we didn't want George to take anything out we wanted her to to make the film she wanted to make and uh, and so you know luckily we we we're, we're back friendly again and we don't have to worry too much and we but and we're, we're happy to be honest it's the biggest bit of therapy you're yeah, ever gonna witness really sitting in a room in a darkened room really and it was like it was therapy. It was like speaking to your psychiatrist, if you have it's, it's, it's an environment of trust where you can just get everything out in the in the open, really. Yeah, now we're showing it to 5,000 people. Are we mad? Plus the 200 screens that are showing it around the country. I know it's kind of kind of weird, but I think you know it, it's only testament to how strong we are now that we can sit through that sort of stuff. You talked about talking, it's in voiceover. Um, and for me as a viewer watching it, it makes the documentary feel more intimate. Does it, did you feel that watching it? Yeah, well, yes. I mean, we didn't want like talking heads as we are now, just talking about it. It's more of a documentary. We wanted to give it more of a sort of film quality to it. And in the same way, really, that, that there was a film called Senna. I don't know if you ever saw that. And that was great. And I, I like Formula One, but you don't have to be a fan, do you, to actually appreciate it, as long as you've got a good story, which, which we, we think we had. So, yeah, no, it's, it's a very, uh, very it's a touching film. Everyone can relate to it. That's a, it's, a, it's, a journey, it's a journey of friendship, falling out. Gary, yeah, and did you find the same? Sorry. So I was just distracting my friend Ben Miller's just turned up. Oh, he has. Uh, oh, no, no, he's very nervous uh, for you. <laughs> I'm nervous for him. He's got to sit through it. Uh, he'll be crying. Um, what was the Talk question? About the intimacy of the documentary. The intimacy of the documentary. Well, I think that's um, probably the fact that it's archived. You don't cut away to someone comfortably sitting in a studio now. That, um, that the poignancy of everything people say is highlighted with the innocence of, of the people you know the faces at that time there's always a certain amount of compassion when you look back at and it at the, the naivety of of old footage and uh, and i think that's really what it is the archive footage is incredible because it would we're going back to an age where you couldn't what your your mobile phone out and record so to have that, all of that catalogued was a great testament to what you guys were oh, doing. absolutely i mean we we'd never thought for one second that that would be shown around the world you know when i pressed that button i was just thinking oh this would be nice to show my mum and dad when i get home yeah. you know? but it, took, was, it took two years to collate everything yeah. though that's the um you know and that was the hardest part probably yeah.